Hey, what is going on guys? John here and welcome back to the channel. Today, Apple just released iOS 14.4 to the public. So you guys should be able to get your hands on it by going inside software updates and updating your device. Now, the step is pretty simple if you had your device to automatically download and install. Now, if you guys aren't entirely sure if your device has updated automatically, just jump on into settings here, jump on into general above and check out the version number. So it should say 14.4 at the software update screen and you tap on into it, you will see 18D52. Now, if you guys see any additional letters to that, it means that you are on a beta build and you do have the beta profile installed. So go ahead and jump on into software updates and make sure you have the latest update. Now, for this video here, we're going to talk mainly on the iPhone 6S, but that will lead to the other devices in another video. Now, what comes with this update? Generally, I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of what it comes with. Now, before we begin with that, I'm sure you guys want to know if I recommend updating to this firmware or not. If you run an older device and that I do have to say yes. There is a bug enhancements and patches in this update alone. This apparently has resolved a Safari WebKit bug that has exposed a lot of devices information. This has been happening on iOS 14.3.1 and Apple has been aware of it, but they haven't really done anything in the beta updates until this point. So that has been officially resolved. So we're going to go on to the next part here. And these are more of the features that come along with this update. Now, not all of the features work with the iPhone 6S. This is why I do recommend updating for the bug fix, but not necessarily for the features. Now, the first thing here you guys will notice which is sort of a positive and a negative for the older devices you don't have to worry too much but for some of the newer devices you will see an animation or a pop-up banner here just like when you have water uh, intrusion in your device or when you replace the screen it will say that this is not a genuine part now this goes with some of the newer devices like the iPhone 12 here when you do replace the camera with a non-genuine part or when you do go through a third-party supplier and they resolve your device problems this is where you're gonna be noticing a screen and a pop-up to let you know that this is not a genuine device and you guys will be able to confirm that as well by jumping into the about screen here and this is where it's going to pop up saying that your device is not genuine now this is where things get a little bit tricky when you do decide to sell your device on a third-party market you will be able to jump on into the settings screen here simply tap onto the about and it will say that the device is not supported under warranty as well as the device is not genuine parts the person buying from you will definitely see it right around this area underneath coverage expiry date I guess I can really just preview it for you guys by jumping into the iPhone 12 here where it does have warranty remaining underneath limited warranty here you will see another tab showing that the device is no longer covered and the hardware coverage is going to be no longer supported so yeah keep an eye out on that if you do decide to buy an older device now with that being said I do appreciate Apple putting this feature in there's countless times where you do buy an older devices and essentially you get scammed so uh, this is them doing their part now moving on to the next thing here quickly there is the QR code that has been finally accepting smaller QRs now especially during this time when you do go to restaurants and pretty much everything is going to be on a QR menu uh, this is where camera is going to be having a hard time focusing on smaller smaller QR codes and that's especially difficult with older devices with small cameras like this so Apple has really optimized it to read smaller QR codes so that's really good inclusion there um, and on to the next one is going to be something I guess very gimmicky to me to be honest but it is supported on the iPhone success this is called air tags you guys have heard it many many times but in the find my app has finally has support for air tags which should be announced in the next couple months now this is where you're gonna be seeing underneath your devices there is gonna be the air tag section you can pretty much tag any of your devices jump on into here just like you do with every other device and once you're in here setting it all up you will see that it does pick up pretty much everything within proximity so all in all that's pretty neat now we're gonna jump into another thing that is supported with the iPhone iPhone 6s here quickly if you guys go ahead and jump on into Bluetooth and you do have a supported device jump on into that and you will see a brand new device type this is for connected headphones and stereo sets you can choose your device type and this does tie in with the hearing aid section uh, that's available just to keep track of how your hearing is now just keep in mind that this isn't available with all devices if you jump on into AirPods that isn't available for AirPods I guess because it knows that it's an AirPod in the end but again, as I mentioned, guys, jump on into the sounds area right here. And inside sounds, you will see a headphone safety. Inside here, there will be a, a graph letting you know uh, using the device type. So make sure you guys select the right device type for the device you're wearing. And then I'm going to quickly run through a couple other things without mentioning too much, I guess. There are a bunch of bug fixes underneath the hood. That's something to be expected with every single update. Uh, there's going to be the new handoff feature with the U1 chip devices. So something like the iPhone 12. 
iPhone 11 is going to have that that's not supported on the iPhone 6s so that's not something you're going to be updating your older devices to now guys I will be doing a follow-up video on devices like this I literally had this in here for like two hours and I'm talking about the software update itself so I haven't had much time to play around with it but I will be giving you guys a follow-up video especially on the battery and on the performance right now battery life has been okay-ish running on the RC build of iOS 14.4 and just recently I've got a little bit of statistics off of it but not too much here so I can't really say much in terms of that but we're definitely going to run it across all of the devices uh, we have the iPhone 7 7 plus iPhone 10 iPhone 12 11 uh, pretty much a whack of it all and I will be giving you guys follow-up video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button right up top there really helps out the channel and it will notify you as soon as I drop a video this should be it once again guys peace out